So we're going to start here with the characters of God of War, starting with our titular character, Kratos. Um, could you guys talk a little bit about um, the inception of how the design came about transitioning to the Norse design? This took a long time to get to. Like, we know what Kratos looks like, but it was amazing how long it took to get to even just getting Kratos to look right at this higher resolution. Yeah, I think early on we started to investigate a lot of even actors and how we maybe we're going to run into scanning a person versus actually getting modeling in 3D. And we did that with uh, Atreus, but with him, we, got, we started looking at a lot of the old games and his features and how, you know, what do we translate to this new one? So like the early uh, models are actually taking from God of War 3 uh, models and trying to take to this new, to the next, uh, next gen. So we started just to sculpt a lot of the wrinkles and try to play up on the first playable. Yeah, and I think something with Kratos too, early on, I think Jose kind of hit a look, Jose Cabrera kind of with the beard and stuff. But then we were looking at kind of how the costume works and we were looking at, uh, we want to go full Norse. And then what we had to kind of do is the, the character has a great kind of history with them. So there's these iconic elements that we want to kind of show. So you can see where he's fully decked out, looks like a beast and all this stuff, which was a really nice direction. But what we also want to show is the, the tattoo and these things that are iconic because we also came into this knowing that the blades wouldn't be part of this. So we want to leave those kind of hallmarks that we still showed with the character. So it, it was a lot of back and forth uh, and a lot of collaboration on the, the 2D and 3D. We did a lot of that. That big bear skin was really cool. I was a fan of that. It felt a little too Game of Thronesy, uh, but it was really neat. It kind of was evocative, I think, of the the sort of mythology of the new area. But I agree. I think we very quickly realized it's just covering up a lot. It's not really... I think doing what it could do. So it was nice to see that we kind of evolved. Yeah, I think we selected three, but in reality, we did more than 40 of those. Uh, oh, sketches. Well, yeah, well more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this one, like I said, it went on for a long time of really trying to figure it out. It's funny because you'd imagine that we spent, you know, eight games, seven or eight games, like figuring out what this guy looks like, but it felt like we were starting from scratch, taking it to this level of fidelity because so much, it's so easy to make it look wrong. And that's something I think, you know, even realizing too, is like, even though we do have this established character, Kratos kind of means something a little unique to everyone else. The character's so good, kind of people own that design and who it is. So it, it was a lot of back and forth, but uh, it was it was great. Do you, do you remember early on when it was like the small incubation group, it was pitched like he wouldn't even have abs. He would have like a pot belly. Oh, yeah. And stuff like that. It was the athlete during the offseason. Yeah, you're saying yeah, like he was yeah, a exactly. pro athlete during the offseason. That the was abs our now, pitch. That looks rad. We yeah. had a version like that without the abs for a long time. Yeah. I remember too just seeing the progression of Kratos from God of War 3 to the proportions that we had now and how we had to continue to kind of walk him away from that because with the previous camera angle, his proportions were really pushed beyond what was normal for a human. And as we started to make the environments more realistic and do a much more cinematic camera, like it really looked a little jarring in the beginning. Yeah, someone actually made human style hands. Remember that? Yeah. They're actually the right size and they look little in the game. It's like, look at these little hands. And the other thing I think with the costume and stuff that, that Corey had asked for from the beginning too is kind of with all of our cast and characters is to make sure that you can kind of feel the hand of, of who made this because we pick up where they're kind of subsistence living out in nature. And I think one thing you told us, Corey, was more the the biker feel versus kind of the ornate pantheon that we'd seen in the previous game. So that was another kind of thing that we pulled on with the design. Yeah, tough and makeshift. Though it did turn out that when you look at all this later stuff, the armors that are more ornate, having that feel of the, the Huldra brothers, like that's also really cool as yeah. well. It feels awesome when you save up and purchase one of those. And, later in the game and i think that's a nice thing we get like the, the visual arc that kind of complements the narrative arc so you get that more dramatic kind of change in there and then uh also like you were talking about the bear skin that was also something we had talked about early on between kratos and the sun wrath with the yeah with the, the wolf and the bear yeah and that like changed a couple times yeah, back and forth of, like, who's, yeah who's gonna be what just for uh readability in the game because when we start putting kratos in black we went to a lot of issues of uh a lot of stuff not not showing yeah. all the details and stuff so we ended up changing a couple times yeah and that's one of those things we kind of always try to put the intent and something's great about working on this game is uh i think corey with your story background the narrative there's a lot of that putting all the characters and like the bear idea was maybe he's a little more aggressive more impulsive where son's the wolf he's a little more sly thinking 